Okay, so we've downloaded the height meter from Visuals Band Pulse. Let's go ahead and go inside the main directory. And in here, you'll see we have the one click setups folder, which includes all the install files. We have the README, which covers how to do so. We have the store page, and we also have a VBI panel. So let's go ahead and go inside of the one click setups folder. And in here, you'll see whether you're using Stream Elements or Stream Labs, we have you covered. So if you're using Stream Labs, let's start there. Go ahead and double click this Stream Labs height meter one click setup. Hit open, and it'll pop up in your browser. You can go ahead and select which profile you want to install this onto. So I'm going to go with the default here. And now this is where you'll see you can either launch your widget or you can copy your widget and put it into your OBS or your slobs. So let's go ahead and copy that URL right there. Scroll down and go to the custom fields because that's where we keep all of the customization. Now that we've copied this URL, go over here and hit browser source. So you're going to add a browser source and we'll call this height meter. SL for Streamlabs. And then paste that URL right within the URL section here. And then within the width, let's go ahead and put 1920 and the height we can do 300 for now. Go ahead and hit OK. You'll see your height meter loaded in. And since we set 1920, it's the entire length of our screen here. So I'll drag it down. So now that we scroll up here, we want to do some tests. Let's go ahead and hit some test subscription here. I'll hit another subscription. We'll do some bits. We'll do a test donation. Oh, now we went up into the next uh, tier. Uh, and now these are all random values. Streamlabs is sending when you test it this way. So it's not very accurate. So if you want to, you can go to advanced testing. So streamlabs.com slash dashboard slash advanced testing. And here you can actually put in some more specific uh, details. So we turn off follows by default. You can turn those back on if you want, but I'll do some bits. Let's test some more bits. Let's put in a thousand bits. Let's get a big bit right here. I'll put us into the next tier. So now you can see we are in the third tier of the height meter. And now it's going to start going down, fighting against us. Hype is dying. So we can even say, you know, let's put in a host of 200 be pretty large a uh, host of 350 a big one here we'll go all the way through up to four and then you can peek through the fifth tier here so now you'll notice it starts to come back down and if you want to reset this you always can if you want you can uh, either reload the source in here in obs or you can refresh your um, browser source so that's the way we set it up through uh, streamlabs now, one of the cool things here is you can take this and scale this. So if you want to set this up differently, type in the width to be, let's say you want it to be 500. There we go. Now notice that it reset our height meter. So don't ever do that like live when you when you have height hype generated. Uh, that's, a, that's something you're going to want to do before you set up your stream. So you can put this wherever you want. You can make this even smaller, you can make it like 350. Um, and there you go. You got a really cool little height meter down there. Let's do a test host. Look, it still works just the way we expect it to. Uh, it was a big host right there. Um, and you can go in here and you can make that say we want it to be like half the screen. Um, we put this down here like a little height meter and there you go. So then from here, what we can do is we can change this. We go down to the custom fields again. We can tell this to be hor from horizontal. We want this to be vertical. And now once we save that, this will reload and it'll be vertical. And so now we're going to want to change this. So let's change this width to be like 250 and we'll change the height to be like 800. And there you go. You have your vertical height meter set up. We can go run some more tests up there. Let's do, uh, Test some bits. We'll test the subscription. Test some host. There you go. And you see your hype meter is working. And it'll start ticking down. And I actually really like it vertically like this. And I like how those uh, those plus signs uh, vertically raise. So, so now if we want to change the colors, you can change all the colors here. So we can change this color to something like 
that if we want to. And now you'll see when I hit save here, it resets and it'll load up and it has this like yellow color. We can also change this from saying hype meter. We can say this is our hype boss. And we can say instead of tier, we can say level. And if I go ahead and save that, you'll see that this text here will change to hype boss and we're on level one. And so now you can go ahead and test this again, do the host again, crank it through some levels. And there you go, it's all working. Now the way this works is the tier one points target. It's set at 45 by default. You can change that to whatever you want it to be. This is what's going to register your very first tier one to tier two. So the points you can see below, these are the values that you can tweak. This is what we have by default that we think works well, but you can change any of these you want for your own stream. So you can change this target to be even harder if you want. Let's say we want to do it like 80. And then this is where the other tiers read from that base, that tier one base. The difficulty increases per tier by this percentage. So if this was 100 points, this percentage here is a 20% increase for the next tier. So each tier will increase by 20%. So 20% of 100 is 20. So in order to get to the next tier after tier one, it'll be 120. And then a 20% increase on top of the 120 and then so forth. So you can say, you can make this as difficult as you want. Let's say you have a really large stream and you're noticing it just caps out at five all the time. You can crank this up to a higher percentage. So it just gets harder and harder every time, every single tier. And you can set that to something like a hundred points and we can save that. Oh, also before I save, one thing to note is one of the biggest drivers for making this more difficult is the fall off per second. So let's say you have a stream that isn't very active at the moment and you still want to engage this hype meter and you want to set this to either 0.1 or you could even set it to zero. That way it doesn't fall off and you just see your whole stream, you build up your hype. So it's not falling off. But let's go ahead and do one or let me just show you how fast it'll fall off. Let's do two here and hit save settings. And now if I generate some hype, we'll test some bits. You'll see that once this generates and lands, it'll start to fall off very quickly. We'll test a donation and now we're in level three. And now you can tell the subs that were bigger before they're very small increases now. So we can even make this height uh, something a lot smaller. We can say 250. And now we have this really tiny, which doesn't look great there. I probably wouldn't go any lower than around what, like 400 here. That's pretty neat. If you wanted a small little height meter, that's vertical. And we can generate a test there as well. So now I'm going to show you how to do this in stream elements. All right, now let's head back over into the height meter and go into the stream elements one click setups folder. So double click here and you'll see you have your platforms for Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. I'll go to Twitch since that's what I'm using and open that up. And then you're going to see the selection here. Go ahead and edit uh, the, the latest one that you just added. And right in here, you'll see that we have our height meter. So let's grab this URL and create a new browser source over here and go ahead and call this height meter SE or stream elements. And I'll go ahead and paste that source right here. So now that it's vertical, I'm going to change it from vertical. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go change it from vertical to we'll go to visual horizontal. Go ahead and save this. And now I'll make this the 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. So now my widgets there and you'll see that in stream elements that the size is not based on the layer size. It's based on the layer size of the widget within the stream elements editor. So I can make that bigger and then hit save. And now it'll update over here on this end. So let's go ahead and emulate some uh, cheer event. There you go. Our height meter is working. We have all the same settings that we have uh, in stream labs set up over here in stream elements. You can change the colors. You can change the values, the difficult percentage, the first target gives you everything that we just went over in Streamlabs. Let's go ahead and 
set it up vertically and save. And then we can also move this around if we would like to. So I'll emulate some cheer. So that covers the basics for setting up the height meter within Stream Labs and Stream Elements. But if you do have any other questions, please don't hesitate and good luck generating some hype out there.